bread has played an important role in our diets. Therefore, it's vital to ensure healthy ingredients in the food industry, as many food safety issues were exposed. Let's see how VTR glucose oxidase promotes the quality of bread. Weigh out two 500 grams of flour. Make two dots. Add 280 grams of water. 80 grams of sugar. 1.6 grams of salt. And 5 grams of years for control group. While an additional 5 to 10 ppm glucose oxidase to another dough as treatment group. Mix all ingredients in the dough maker for 5 to 10 minutes. Then add 35 grams of butter and continue to mix for a few minutes. Take out the dough, let them sit for 5 minutes. Take out 300 grams to shape it into a loaf and take 100 grams to shape it into a round. Let them rise for about 90 to 120 minutes in the oven at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius and 70% humidity. Then bake them in a 200 degrees Celsius oven for 25 minutes. Take them out of the oven and let them cool down. It's obvious to see, the bread with our enzyme is more fluffy, white, and the internal structure is more delicate. This experiment shows that our product addition to bread force can promote the formation of a superior polymeric network. Moreover, glucose oxidase is a type of enzyme which belongs to a group of oxidiridectases, which will not reduce in the bread and deliver a healthy dietary requirement.